Working with nested data can be challenging. If possible, the best solution is to flatten your data shape to avoid deep nesting. But if you can't change your data shape, you'll need to know how to read and update deeply nested data. And in Immutable JS, there are a number of useful methods that make this easier. The first and easiest thing to do is use get in and set in. So here we have a user object that has deep nesting. If we wanted to get the user's hair color, you could use get multiple times, like this, where we get appearance, then get hair, then get color. But if we're missing some data, like hair, this will throw an exception. So the better approach is to use get in. You pass it an array of the keys that represent the path to the desired data. So appearance, hair, color. Now if we remove hair, we get undefined, but no exception, which is good. If we want to update it, we can use user.setIn and then pass it the update value as the last argument. The benefit of this is that you get the whole updated user object returned, rather than having to set on a deeply nested property and then manually merge it into the user object. Now this assumes every level of the nested data is an immutable map, but what if there's a mixture of maps and lists? We'll add some list data to our user object to test this. So now we have an immutable map with a list of hobbies, which is made up of maps. So let's imagine we want to get one of the hobbies. We could use user.getIn and pass it hobbies in the index of the list item we want. But this assumes that we know the index of the item, which is the key for that item. In a previous video, we looked at how to convert lists to maps for easier manipulation. But if you're forced to work with a list in this situation, you could find the index of the item you need. We'll do this by using user git and then finding the index and returning the hobby that has the name equal to the one we're looking for, which is reading. If you want to update the value, you'll call set in with a new value as the last argument. And it looks like we have an error. And oh, we have two equal signs. OK, now we're good. So to recap, when working with nested data, we should use get in and set in to simplify our immutable JS code and avoid exceptions. For working with a mixture of maps and lists, it may be necessary to use find index to get the index of the particular list item we want. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel for more videos on current web development topics.